This is the book about Tell Me About God. This is a very old book. This is a book that was given to me when probably right after I was born. And it's uh, by Mary Alice Jones, illustrated by Pelegi Dona. And it was written and copywritten in 1943. And this is the 1950 edition. And Mima was born in 1953. And on the page, because evidently, maybe I didn't always do things right, because there is my signature, all those backwards letters that says Barbara on there. And I could finally learn to write it well. And so you're going to see a few pictures that I wrote in the book. Never a good thing. I'm not too sure what that's supposed to show, but I guess that's one of my drawings. This is about Tell Me About God. I have to get myself situated here. There we go. Tell me about God. Mother, tell me about God, Bobby asked. What do you want to know about God, Bobby? All about him. His mother said, nobody knows all about God, Bobby. Not even you and Daddy. Not even the wisest men on earth. Or wisest men in all the world. Why don't they? Some things are so great and so good that we cannot understand them now. Nobody knows all about God, Bobby. Then tell me some about God, Bobby said. And so his mother told him about God. See, she's sitting there knitting. That's what I've been doing recently. Let me get the page turned. There we go. The Bible helps us to know God. The Bible helps us to know God, Bobby, his mother told him. How does it, Bobby asked. It tells us God's plans for us. It tells us how other people learn to know God. It tells us how God helped people long ago. It tells us how God will help us now. Will you read me some about God? And so Bobby's mother opened the Bible and read to him. In this book are some of the verses she read. And here it says, God made heaven and earth and the sea and all things that are therein. Acts 14, 15. The Lord is good to all. Psalms 145, 9. God is our help in trouble. Psalms 46, 1. I think there's another one of my, my pictures there. Oh, God loves us and cares for us. God loves you, Bobby, his mother told him. Does he love Mary too? Bobby wanted to know. Yes, dear, God loves the baby too. The way you love us and Daddy... The way we love you, Bobby, and even more than that, Bobby thought a while. Then he must love us a lot, he said. More than you can ever know, he loves you and cares for you. How does God take care of me, Bobby asked. I have you and Daddy. One of the ways God takes care of children is by planning families. In families, there are mothers and daddies and children. God depends upon the mothers and the daddies to help him take care of the children. And does he depend on the children to help take care of the little babies? Bobby asked. I am sure he does, dear. He depends on you to help take care of Mary. Bobby hugged his mother. I am glad God planned families. His mother laughed. So am I, Bobby. He careth for you, 1 Peter 5, 7. The Lord is thy helper, Psalm 121, 5. God is love, 1 John 4, 8. 
God helps us take care of ourselves. There he's on his tricycle. Will God take care of me so I won't get hurt? Bobby asked his mother and Mary too. God does not want any little children to get hurt, Bobby. He loves them. He plans for helpers to take care of them. Then why do children get hurt sometimes, Bobby asked. I can tell you some of the reasons, dear. Sometimes the daddies and mothers and the other big people do not help God take care of the children the way God planned. Hmm. And sometimes the children do not do what their mothers and daddies and other big people tell them, Bobby said. And sometimes people do not think about other people and hurt them, his mother added. When they drive too fast, Bobby asked. Yes, that is one way. And then sometimes the children do not use their eyes and their ears the way God planned for them to, to do, his mother went on. Bobby thought a minute. Like today when I almost ran into the street without looking, he remembered. His mother nodded her head. God planned for us to see and to hear so we can help him take care of ourselves. The hearing ear and the seeing eye, the Lord hath made even both of them. Proverbs twenty twelve, The Lord hath been mindful of us. Psalms 115, 12. God is always near. How do I know God is here? Bobby asked. Why can't I see him, Mother? No one sees God with his eyes, Bobby, his mother told him. We do not see him as we see each other, but we know he is here. How do we? Close your eyes and think a moment. You could try that too. Bobby closed his eyes and was very quiet. His mother spoke softly. All around us are light and air. In the sky, the sun is shining. In the gar garden, flowers are growing. In the house, there are Bobby and baby Mary and mother and daddy who love each other. The light and the air and the growing flowers, the shining sun, and the love that people feel for each other make us know that God is here. Without God, none of these things could be. Only God is great enough to plan these things. Bobby opened his eyes. He looked all around him. He looked at his mother. I want to know more about God, he said. Be still and know that I am God. Psalms 46, 10. He giveth to all life and breath and all things. Acts 17, 25. So that's as much of the book as I'm going to read tonight. And I will have to do another reading so we can read a little bit more about Tell Me About God.